Shalom, like give our honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash, like give double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. Salutations to all you sincere brothers pushing his word across the four corners of the earth. And this is an article from the South African.com, and the title says Nipsey Hustle Killing Linked to the Death of Dr. Sebi. Is there a lot more to this or are we reaching? And this was published on April 1st, 2019. It says a sudden untimely death for Nipsey Hussle has rocked the global entertainment community. Scores of celebrities and music fans sent messages of condolences to the family of Aramis Nipsey Ashkadum, who was rocked with the news of his death after images and video footage of the events following the shooting broke out on social media. Who killed Nipsey Hussle? Los Angeles authorities have yet to piece this baffling puzzle together. Who killed Nipsey Hussle, or better yet, why would anyone want him dead? As reported by Tone Deaf, conspiracy theories have since surfaced about the possible reason behind the rapper's killing. Reports suggest that Nipsey was in the process of filming a documentary about the infamous 1985 trial of Dr. Sebi. The link between Nipsey and Dr. Sebi. Dr. Sebi was a Hadurian herbalist who gained notoriety after he had posted an advert on the New York Times newspaper claiming that he could cure HIV AIDS. Soon afterwards, the doctor was allegedly killed by U.S. medical corporations who, according to conspiracy theorists, felt threatened by Dr. Sebi's revolutionary feats in AIDS medical research. And that's exactly what happened to Nipsey Hussle. His death was linked with the speaking of Dr. Sebi. You got to think about the platform that this rapper had. He had millions of followers on his social media accounts. So the knowledge of he's sharing with his followers or fans, look how many people are waking up to the fact that, oh, it is a cure for cancer. It is a cure for AIDS. It is a cure for HIV. It is a cure for diabetes. And the list goes on. So he pretty much had to be shut up because he took the oath. When you come to this music industry, you have to take an oath with Esau. Esau is the biblical name of the so-called Caucasians. They run this whole entire world because pursuant to Job 9.24, it says the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. So he controls everything on all levels. And these higher ups in this society known as the Illuminati, ran by the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, the Gettys, the Oppenheimers, and the list goes on, they control the World Bank, the Federal Reserve, major corporations, the media, education systems, religious institutions, Hollywood, and the pharmaceutical industry, aka Big Pharma. And Big Pharma is the so-called white man's medical mafia who controls his whole pharmaceutical industry, which literally made billions of dollars a year to keep you Americans constantly coming back for more of their drugs. American people are fed by the food industry, which pays no attention to health and are treated by the health industry, which pays no attention to food. And this is all systematically designed because this is part of the New World Order or their depopulation agenda. I always remember there is no profit and cure. For example, if you have some inexpensive herbs like garlic, black seed oil, turmeric, colonial gold, and silver, vitamin B17, ginger root, liquid chlorophyll, raw honey, apple cider vinegar, etc., which can easily cure cancer. Now, those herbs I just mentioned, compare the price of a few of those natural herbs applied together to this so called white man's chemotherapy. And the initial cost of his chemotherapy is $7,000. And according to cancer.org, there were over 1.7 million cases of new cancer diagnosis just alone. So now you do the math. A cure would be bad for business because the pharmaceutical industry does not create cures, but customers, which are you American zombies. This is Romans 13 verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. And this is speaking to you biblical Israelites. In today's time, you are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We consist of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So that's good that our people are questioning everything now. 
because everything you see on this mainstream media, you're supposed to question that because we know that Esau, he's full of lies, deceitfulness, and falsehoods and wickedness. So that's good you question the so-called white man on that level. But now it's time to wake up out of that true sleep, which is coming back into who you really are as a people, and that's as biblical Israelites. Coming back into your true heritage as a people. Coming back into your real culture. Coming back into the names of the Heavenly Father in the ancient Hebrew is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai in the ancient Hebrew. Coming back into those names, and you coming back as a true people of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And that's awaking up by that deep sleep. But we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai, only one third out of the nation of Israel and one forty-four thousand out of the nation of Israel are going to wake up out of their true sleep. But to two thirds of the nation of Israel, you're going to die here in America. You're going to remain in a dead state of mind. So yeah, that's the point of this video. Nipsey Hussle killing link to the death of Dr. Sebi. Nipsey Hussle was becoming more conscious about the pharmaceutical industry and he was trying to share that with his fans. But the true awakening is coming back to your true nationality as Israelites. And that's something this government has been trying to hide for ages. But they can't upset biblical prophecy because there's going to be a small remnant of the Most High people coming back to who they really are. So with that, I hope y'all be edified throughout this next video. Shalom. When I told my mama that I had cured my 13 AIDS patient, today going to get you. Stuff more like this, like where people are really doing excellent shit for black people and, and empowering the community and, and informing them and just putting themselves out there because just if any of this is true, like, should we fear for Nipsey's safety? I was just about to say that, but I didn't want to look negative. No, nah, like, I'm just saying, we were, like... Weren't we already? I, I was. I, I, I keep it a buck. I think we about to enter a whole new generation of that shit. Um, but are we watching? I don't even try with real Nipsey. Shit. We on to y'all. Yeah, that's, that's he exactly He mysteriously that. gets a cold, we watching y'all. Don't attack me. Dr. Sebi. Yeah. That stuff is kind of weird to this generation. Like, what, yeah. what are you talking about? They can't no. call me. So, so you you want to do a documentary about him? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He if they AIDS. down me, y'all better ride for me, man. <laughs> y'all better burn something down, man. Come I come on. up falling off the building or something, man. <laughs> Yeah, Some breaking news to tell you about out of the entertainment world. Rapper Nipsey Hussle was shot. Two others were hurt in a shooting here in L.A. This is a live picture. Give some people some information about Dr. Sebi that, that they might not know. You know what I'm saying? That's the biggest one, but... He, be, he, he went to trial. A lot of things he did, right? But mm -hmm. in 1985, he got arrested because he was printing in magazines that he cured AIDS, mm -hmm. sickle cell, and cancer. Yep. And they like, that's false advertisement. That's malpractice of medicine, all type of thing. He wasn't no doctor, he just used herbs and his understanding of herbs. Right. Somebody try to walk on my window. It's Randy Jackson. Yeah. What is it you want? <laughs> my brother want to see you. Your brother? Michael? <laughs> okay. I went. Well, he's sick as hell, but I treated him and he got cured, he saw it, and he was encouraged to take me to the Rayborn building on Capitol Hill. I said, why are you taking me there? Because you cure AIDS. I said, but what makes you think that they are interested in that? What makes you think that the world is interested? I don't care if it's any country in the world, they are not interested, especially Africa. They were never interested. 77 patients was cured of AIDS on record. See? In 1985, by his herb. Yeah. Why we ain't never heard that? Why they ain't been on TV? They got a Tupac and Biggie, the 55th uh, documentary that they made about the Tupac and Biggie murder. They got billboards, you know what I'm saying? Lisa, Lisa was the only person that had the nerve to tell me something that shook me up and she was right. Lisa came to me for healing like ja like Michael Jackson did and they both received what I had to offer and they were quite satisfied he was about 74 oh yeah I interviewed him you interviewed him twice Damn. not here but when I was on the other show he was able to jump from the floor up here on his knees at, at 70 something on his knees yeah. and jump back down and no problems nothing like that why, why you think he they had, killed him why do they kill all holistic doctors 
Messing up the medical industry. You, playing, you short stopping that grind. Why do niggas get killed for hustling in front of a nigga's spot? You short stopping the grind. And th these niggas, they check is billions. You got niggas that get flipped for a couple hundred thousand. So you playing with some pharmaceutical money, you know? And what's crazy, I'm, I'm working on doing a documentary on the trial of, in 1985. When Dr. Sebi went to trial against New York, right? Because he he put a newspaper, he cured AIDS. Yeah. Did, did he? Did he? He beat, beat the he case, and yeah. he went to federal court the next day and beat that case yeah. on record. Yep. And nobody talk about it. And the feds indicted him, and he went to trial against the feds and won. You know what I mean? And the judge even said like, "Oh yeah, you know, my whole life I wanted to change the world, but I just ended up being a judge." Mm. But today I'm gonna find you not guilty and change the world. That was her statement at the end of the whole trial. Mm. By finding him not guilty, she gets to impact the world. And yeah, we ain't never heard that story. You gotta search for that. Yeah. So you know, I'm in a position I can produce content. You know, I got that's a that's a, a real interesting story. If I didn't know nothing about nothing, I ain't gotta be a vegetarian to appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Or a, a health nut. No disrespect to nobody when right, I mean, right, when right. I say that. To, to appreciate that, man, that's, that's interesting, you know? Who is this dude? Let me research. And they had, after that, they'll go into everything he's done, and, you know, figure out exactly how powerful dude was and why he ended up seriously dying in jail recently. Mm -hmm. Damn, he if they him. down me, y'all better ride for me, man. <laughs> y'all better burn something down, man. Come I come on. up falling off the building and stuff, man. Yeah, it's just, it's just like everything else. Africa was full of natural resources, but they do. All the diamonds, they came and got it. All the gold, they came and got it. All the niggas, they came and got us. You know what I mean? It's the, the, the continent is raped of all its resources. So, you know what I mean? I guess the word they call it is colonialism. When they come and colonize your, 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 your land and take hey, the resources. Hey, nigga just thought you was a regular gang bang. Yeah, you know, I'm, like I said. Using words I'm like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I, we, we said it earlier. Like, I, I educated myself. I, I, at one point, I was ignorant and lost. But, like, you got to know yourself before you do anything. Before you can make a record. Or you can have an opinion, you gotta know yourself. So, you know, the same thing going on with rap music, the same thing going on with all of our culture. Whether it's gang banging, whether it's trapping down south, whether it's hip hop, whatever it is, like, you know, if they if a motherfucker see it as a, as as an asset or as a resource, we don't got no 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 means to go get it. You know what I mean? Other than our little pistols and handguns, we got choppers and all that. These niggas got millions of dollars, institutions set up, like the LAPD. Like the feds, like the FBI, all this is they army, and they army make it to where you can inflict your will. Meaning, if a motherfucker don't want to do it from an agreement, you can come take it. If a nigga don't want to agree and do it verbally, well, you got an army to come enforce your will. So we, we that's what we lack. You know what I mean? We don't have no army that's gonna come protect our natural resources because our shit is divided. How you know what I'm saying? We we don't even understand how we connected because oh, you a blood? I'm from '60. Fuck you or you, you from over, I'm from 60, fuck you, or you from a Trey, I'm from 60, fuck you. And that's that's a fucked up mentality to have. But that's the culture of where we come from. To where, like, that's why my album is titled South Central State of Mars. Because we, we shit, not, we, we did. Yeah. The, reason why, the reason why I respect these niggas is because on some real shit is because that shit ain't a fad. This is niggas' culture. I don't respect niggas that's rappers running around and you from a city where that ain't even your culture and you throwing up a red rag or yeah. you throwing up a blue rag. Man, y'all niggas is faker than a motherfucker, man. Faker than a motherfucker. Niggas, niggas don't even know the code. Nigga got a red rag on what? The left side. The left side. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. And videos, man. Yeah. And promoting that shit to the kids like that's what's up. And that ain't even your culture. I can respect L.A. niggas. I can respect niggas that... Who cities that that's what they embrace that's what they grow up under that these niggas pretty much ain't got no choice if you grow up in in the 60s hood nigga you a 60 nigga if you grow up in the age rate hood you a age rate nigga if you grow up in this hood that's what you is but if you grow up where there ain't no gang banging and then you become a grown ass man and want to throw a flag up throw a rag up that I mean the fuck out of here nigga you fake ass nigga say nigga. what they say sue Wu and all that dumb shit them niggas ain't real man Niggas ain't real, yeah, and, and that's and that's not disrespecting the no, real. No, 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 yeah, blood yeah blood exactly. Here, but real real talk. I'm home. talking about strictly fake niggas. If you, if this your culture, this what you grew up in, that's what y'all do. Man, it's all love to y'all. I'm talking about fake niggas, like a nigga that'll grow up in Philadelphia and throw up a red rag or a blue rag. Man, get your fuck, fuck man, man, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Cause yeah. we on um, we on war out there over that. We were over green. 
You feel what I'm saying? And drugs and, and, and we don't war over. That ain't that ain't us. You feel what I'm saying? So do you fake ass niggas that's out here fucking a nigga coach up? A ni what niggas really was raised and grown up, man? Fuck you niggas, man. If you ain't never looked to the eyes of a real nigga, I'll give you a chance, nigga. Tell Fuck him. you niggas. Gilly said it, nigga. Nigga, I said it, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you niggas, man. There's a lot of you niggas on TV running around. Faker than a motherfucker. Three dollar bill ass niggas, man. Fuck you niggas, man. Clogging the lane. Clogging the lane. Clogging the lane. Clogging the lane. That shit needed to be put out there, man. Because that shit really going down like that. Clogging the lane up for real. Clogging the lane up. I got niggas that's really living in that shit. You know what I'm saying? This nigga really grew up in that shit. This is what these niggas is from. You don't even see them niggas on that shit. Ain't no video. He trying to teach. He trying to teach young niggas other shit. You and feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm finna say, like, oh, you know, like my nigga J-Rock. J-Rock from Bonnie Hunters. I'm from 60s. You know what I'm saying? We came together with our movies. You know what I mean? Because that for a minute, it was, it was, it was, the undertone in the street was, oh, Nipsey don't fuck with J-Rock. J-Rock don't fuck with Nipsey. Them niggas got issues and all that. So, we took a, we took a, 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 a natural step to just sit down and chop it, like, and, and I fuck with the nigga based on the type of nigga he is, not based on who he is, where he come from, based on the nigga he is before all that, and vice versa. And now, I, I, you know what I mean? I'm good over there. I go through the nigga since, my nigga. They know where I'm from, but it's a mutual respect. You can come to me on Grindhurst and on 10th Ave. The nigga's gonna respect me. On Sloss. On Sloss. Huh? We was on the we was on the <laughs> yeah. 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 I was, so you know, and that's the example we trying to set. You know, this shit been going on for decades. And a lot of niggas, that mentality, Grew in a cancer and killed him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's why I nigga want to reverse the mind state in our city. And that's what my whole movement is about. You know what I mean? Niggas might see me as a, oh, he's a hypocrite because his video is him with his homies throwing his hood up. But nah, you know, I'm just. I'm representing you where you from. I'm expressing the culture of my city. Yeah. 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 So, you know, and, and I'm not talking to you, you niggas that would even say that. I'm talking to the niggas that's listening, the young niggas that's coming up looking at a Nipsey or a J-Rock or a Game or a Snoop Dogg as, as quote unquote inspiration. Real talk. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna tell you like I love you and I don't even know you. But I'm if I don't if, if I don't love you, I'm gonna tell you whatever. I'm gonna tell you what's in my benefit. If I love you, I'm gonna tell you what's in your benefit. And repeating the mistakes niggas like us made, the niggas before us and the niggas before them made it, not in your benefit. Real talk. You know, what's in your benefit is to get around shit like this. To get behind the camera. Hundred million dollar niggas. Yeah. That's why we provide an opportunity. That's what we gotta set it up. That's it. And that's the other thing. It's a lot of little jewels that you're saying in there. That's what I like. Like I said, the medicine really is in the candy. Because even when you drop a ball like about Dr. Sebi. Yeah. Like just that one thing they killed Dr. Sebi will make somebody go research who Dr. Sebi is. 100%. 100%. Like that. Why, why you think they he killed had, him? Why do they kill all holistic doctors? Messing up the medical industry. You, you short stopping that grind. Why do niggas get killed for hustling in front of a nigga's spot? You short stopping the grind. And these niggas, they check is billions. You got niggas that get... Flip for a couple hundred thousand. So you playing with some pharmaceutical money. <laughs>